know, business starts with a vision and then a dream to have your vision come to fruition and then your business is born. And then with perseverance, your business grows and now you are an integral part of that economy that I just talked about. And we share at least one thing in common, the desire to step out of our comfort zone and follow our dreams. Today, we are here to recognize some of the most inspiring and successful entrepreneurs and small business owners of San Antonio. And now, for the New Business Award recipient, 2013, Tommy Galligan and Mike Galligan. Serve Pro of Lackland Terrace and Timber Ridge. And now the 2013 Employee Relations Award recipient. And the winner is John Garcia with Alpha Facility Solutions. And now the 2013 Business Innovation Award recipient. The winner is Billy Carlisle Jr. with Carlisle Auto Air. The 2013 Business Achievement Award recipient is Marilyn, thank you. <laughs> it's my next door business neighbor. Congratulations, Amber Lentz, First Texan Realty. And now, the 2013 Small Business Career Achievement Award goes to, and if you could dance on your way on up to the stage, that would really be appreciated. It goes to Dale Lewis of Trinity Title of Texas. Congratulations, Dale. And now the 2013 Community Service Award recipient is Rashish Najir, an American Regional Center. On behalf of Charlie Amato and Gary Dudley and the entire SWBC family, I'm proud to present the Small Business Advocate of the Year Award. The recipient of this award serves as a voice, resource, and champion for small businesses via advocacy, educational, and economic development opportunities. And now, the 2013 Small Business Advocate of the Year Award recipient, CPS Energy, represented by my friend, Jalyn LeBlanc Burley. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you very much to the North Chamber for this honor. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the small business leaders here today. What an impressive list. You make us very proud to serve you at CPS Energy. I want to also tell you that we take our position as a corporate leader very seriously, and we do so under the outstanding leadership of our CEO, Doyle Benneby, who was here earlier but had to leave. So I wanted to recognize him. I stand before you today on the shoulders of a very impressive team, and that is our supply chain team under the leadership of Eric Clute, and I'd like to thank them for all of their dedication and commitment to the outreach efforts to ensure that our business goes to local and diverse businesses here in San Antonio. So thank you again, and congratulations to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2013 Small Business Leader of the Year Dr. Diana Burns Banks, South Texas Center for Pediatric Care. Obviously, I'm surprised, uh -huh, but and to, I'm very honored to be in front of such a group of industrious business people. I've learned so much as I've sat here and admired all the efforts that have been made. I want to thank the chamber for uh, this and thank Saul Swartz for the nomination. I am so honored uh, for, for this and I want to thank the Chamber for representing the businesses so well that represent the people that make us uniquely San Antonio. Even though my practice, South Texas Center for pa Pediatric Care, has been in practice for over 25 years, as a business we've had to adjust a lot to the changing healthcare environment. Our vision that we had when we started 25 years ago has remained the same. We want to provide a medical care 
for those who are most vulnerable in our community, our children. We have continued to have our same mission to, and our same commitment uh, to continue to provide medical care for these children. So on behalf of, um, uh, on behalf of my two partners, Dr. Linda Holly and Dr. Uh, Danny Trevino, who have allowed me to actually live my vision. I, I'm the managing partner, so I get to do all the creative things and to see the patients who I, who I consider very special when I want to, but I can, I can think and I, I love it. Our dedicated staff who really have become really part of the children that we see. They're part of their lives. Uh, they take care of them. They're invested in them. They live them. They care for them more than the eight hours that we ask them to work. And most of all, I want to thank the very wonderful, wonderful children that, I, that have allowed me to be part of their life. As one of my little patients told me, Dr. Burns, I can be anything I want to be because you said so. So thank you.